so yeah today's topic is the chemical composition composition of protoplasm so in your first mind the question arises what is mean by protoplasm it's a living building material which makes cell or we you can say that it's the living material which includes the nucleus organelles and cytoplasm that makes the cell the protoplasm actually makes the cell so the definition of protoplasm is that it is a living ma building material living building material which makes cell which makes cell so in protoplasm generally there is 70 to 90% water in protoplasm there is 70 to 90% water okay and there is 10 to 35% dry weight in dry weight the, there is a solid things come which is the proteins maybe yeah proteins carbohydrates lipids nucleic acid salts and many other things nucleic acid salts or you can say the these are the dry weight into the cytoplasm so now talking about the bio elements there are six bio elements they are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sometimes sulfur or sometimes calcium so here we i am writing sulfur and potassium so what's the condition of that uh, there will be the sulfur and which time it the bio elements will be calling as a sulfur is with the cell is having or the which time will be calling uh, which will be which time will be writing the calcium so i'll be telling you we will be writing in muscle cell in mus talking about the muscle cell there is sometimes calcium and sometimes sulfur sometimes sulfur and calcium i'll be telling you that why sulfur and calcium so if the sulfur is in the muscles the sulfur is used in the muscles for the composition okay and the calcium talking about in function or you can say the mechanism calcium is important because of the contraction of the muscles cell in the contraction of the muscle cell the calcium is more important for the contraction okay so if we are talking um, here the sulfur came and if we are talking about the bones in bones there is basically the calcium is the more important important because there is in bones of course we need vitamin d and vitamin d occurs from the cal the vitamin d is a calcium so if there is the deficiency of uh, in the bones so means it is, there is a deficiency of calcium in our bones so uh, the protein plus sulfur plus uh, calcium makes the muscle cell and the calcium plus proteins not sulfur calcium will be making the bones so there are the exceptional cases in this in this bio element sometimes there is sulfur because of the muscle cells and sometimes there is calcium because of the bone cells so this was the chemical compositions of the there were the few points which we discussed today in our class about the chemical composition of protoplasm